the prophet Jose spoke these words. My people are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of God. And still today, these words ring true. Introducing W.C. Hunter, pastor of the world's church of the living God in Chattanooga, Tennessee. For the next half hour, we invite you to experience the word of knowledge broadcast. Chapter. And I want you to listen to this carefully. This is information. This is what? Information. Lively information. Now, 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 before I go into the information I'm going to give you, I want, you I, want, I want to read something to you and you can get it or you can wait till you get home. I want you to go to 6th chapter of St. John. I want you to go to 6th chapter of St. John. Then I'll give you something to... Think on sixth chapter. Hold your finger in St. Luke now. You can do that. Sixth chapter of St. John and the 63rd verse. Now, listen what Jesus said. Everything Jesus spake came from God. Everything. Not his word, but it's Jesus. It's God's word. He said, I've not come to speak my word, but who sent me? He was sent by God. I mean, God spoke when that God could speak to. And he made it clear. It is the spirit. This is what people miss out. It is the spirit. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Quicken it means make alive. Bring alive. Bring the dead from being dead and bring them alive. That's what quicken means. Quick. Quick. You ever, you, ever heard, you ever heard somebody say, he hit the quick. That's what they used to do when they tor torture people in years ago in the war time. Stick the nails and knees up on your fingernail. Hit the quick. <laughs> You're going to move. You're going to move. You ain't going to lay there. If they stick a needle up under your fingernail, it hits the quick. Yes, so the word of God is quickening. Yes, sir. It quickens you, bring you alive. Yes, if you're in financial trouble, messed up, it'll quicken your finance. It'll quicken you. Yes, quicken what up? It's a quicken. Yes. You use the word of God for your finance, it's going to quicken it. Yes. You're going to get the wisdom and know how to live on this earth. And have the things you need. Because it's quicken. It quicken you. Quicken everything about you. Your body, your health. You don't know how to take care of your health. Because the book gives it to you. It quicken you. Listen. It is a spirit that do what? Quicken. That what it say? Yes, sir. The flesh. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. This is my part here. Your flesh, my flesh, your flesh, the flesh of Jesus. <laughs> Prophet Nathan. Yeah. It was crucified and put in the tomb. Yes, but the spirit quickened him. It is the spirit that quickened him. It is the spirit that quickened him. Okay. The flesh profited nothing. It ain't going to quicken nothing. It's going to deaden you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I might well say the flesh deaden you and bring death to you. Yes, sir. But I'm just going to speak my part. I'm just going to, that flesh talking to you. I'm going, I ain't taking this. Next thing they know. <laughs> I say nothing else. <laughs> so, so people can't put no trust in the flesh. It makes it very clear. The flesh profit nothing. What I say? The flesh profit nothing. Read. The words. Uh oh. Uh oh. The words. The words. Go ahead. That I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. Anyone God speak. 
They are spirit. They are. They are. Not might be. They are. Well, that's printed paper with ink on it. When you do like I told you at first, get involved with God. Sincerely and honestly, this stuff will jump off here alive. I mean, you. It'll get in you. <laughs> and time you need it, it'll come back to you. You get in a situation and all of a sudden your mind will tell you what to do. Don't do that. Because yes, <laughs> you got it in you. It's live in you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Again, to any one of you in here who know this book, know this book, done been in a situation that nobody had to tell you nothing. It come from up here. That been laid there, been you read it, you brought it to, and it's Holy Ghost brought to your attention. Don't do, don't keep your mouth closed, or whatever. Saul fast and turn away wrath. Or whatever. It, it's there. It come to you. Yes, <laughs> Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are spirit. And Woo. they are life. They are spirit. And life. Yes, sir. You don't get it nowhere else. I preached it and told you, get wisdom. Yes, it's the principal thing. Yes, what are you talking about? It's life. This is wisdom. <laughs> this is the wisdom. Eh? Anything you want to know. Anybody you want to know about. It's wisdom. See, I know about them kind of people because the book told me. I didn't, you know, I, people would tell you shit. I don't want to hear I had to know this before I found out what people were doing 40 something years ago. When I was trying to, I said, I, I don't want to do nothing wrong. I want to bless, I want to help them. It helped me. But they don't. <laughs> it turned all for good for evil. Y'all understand that? Now let's go to the message. I'm going to give you the message. I'm going to close it. I'm going to give you the message. Let's go here to St. Luke, <clears throat> the sixth. Chapter. Thirty fifth verse. Thirty fifth I don't care what anybody say. You can't go beyond this. You can't do nothing about it. But reject it or take it. Let it apply to your life. He said what he said in a minute. It is life. Life given. What I'm going to read you is life given. But you love your enemies. Oh, oh Pastor, I can't do that. They've done so much bad stuff to me. My old lady run off with another joker. Good that I've been to her. <laughs> what about it? Get your flush out the way it won't bother you. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I understand. Whatever way you feel, I understand. It. No problem. I ain't judging. This ain't no judgment. You ain't in the judgment seat. You ain't in for no. It's a decision making that would would will determine the way your life gonna go as of today. Period. And you only one got control of you. God ain't gonna knock the door down, tear that door down, and say, "Let me in. Let me open. To now knock your heart out and let you let me get in." No, he ain't gonna do that. It's a volunteer thing. Decisions. The Bible's full of them. God said, if you would do this, if you do this, this would have happened. If you would give this, if you would do this, if you would. It's just full of opportunities <laughs> and blessings. I refer to blessings. <laughs> so, so what do you do to get them? He tell you. Now, I want you to listen to this. I say, love your enemies. 
and do good and live hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great. I want the great reward. And you shall be the children of the Most High. For he's kind unto the unthankful. He is. Because it was time I was in the street and I was not thankful. I didn't thank God for the day I got up. But he was kind to me. Got to have what he, what he give up. Else lose. Said he's kind. He said, for you be the children of the most high, for he is kind unto the unthankful. And to the what? When the sun shines, where did it come from? God's sunshine. If a man hate God and you love him so much and you all standing together right out there, is God going to separate the sun and make him get dark? No, he's going to get some good sunshine just like you. The mean folks, the crazy folks, everybody get, they get breath just like you. And it all comes from God. God wants to be the sons of God, the children of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That we can receive of him and communicate with him and have a life. It ain't going to be, people hate you, true enough. He tell you that. Your own kid folks turn on you. <laughs> your own race will turn on you. Your own folk turn on you. But that matters not. What matters to you is what God wants. Yes. To me now, I don't know about y'all. Listen to this, 36th verse now, follow the word. Be therefore merciful. So many unmerciful people in the world. As your father also is merciful. Is there anybody in here who feel like God has not been merciful to you? Raise your hand. If anybody in here feel like God has been merciful to you. And so both of them are. Both of them, I put my feet up too if necessary. <laughs> I tell you to be merciful as your father is merciful. Judge not. That's a big one right there. That's a big one. That's a big one. People like to put people in judgment. They love to play God. They love to look and judge. They like to judge. Judge folk. They love it. They like to play God. <laughs> and that's one of the condemning things it is. He's the judge. And people will judge things before time. He's going to judge things on time and what they're supposed to be and what they're like. He knows the deep inner Thoughts. The why, what reason, anything happened. Yeah. You don't know that. You just judge. You just condemn and judge. And, but he tell you right here, these are children of God here. Judge not that you be not judged. Because you're going to be judged by the same judgment that you judge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the same judgment will come back on you. And you're going to say, why are these people? I ain't like that. Well, they wasn't either, but you judged them like that. I, I ain't like you. I don't know why. What you got to do? No facts, nothing. Just people judge people on their looks and everything else. People judge folk by the color of their skin and everything else, the race and everything. It's crazy. It don't make a better sense. Stupid. All right, let's go on down a little further. Judge not that you be not judged. Condemn not that you be not condemned. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Don't forgive and you're not going to be forgiven. You're going to walk around with guilt all in your head. Now who can live with guilt every day? Some hidden secret, some hidden sin or whatever. <laughs> That's what you had to go by. You have a thought to the power of your life, the way you want it to go. Don't he get that privilege? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Forgive and it shall be given. Yes, sir. You got the power to, to make the decision. This ain't worth me holding. If you don't let other people out of prison, you're going to stay in prison yourself. And that's just it. I don't care what nobody done to you. You cannot hold stuff in your heart against people. Because people are God's creatures and God good to them just like he's good to you. They eat his food just like you eat it. And you just tend to your business and forgive people. Go on about your business. Let God be the judge. Now that didn't say you don't have to supposed to speak up when things are evil and you see it and confront it. But you, I hope you have the wisdom to understand what I'm saying. I hope you do. All right, now, 38 verse. 38 verse, now listen. Listen. Take. Oh, 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 you reading? Good. Good, I'm good then. Nobody said amen. <laughs> I'm glad, thank you. Give. Give. You will not get the next breath unless you give the one up that you got. This whole system of God is constantly giving. See, the world got it wrong. People got it wrong. Their thing is taking. Better hear this. Yes, sir. Are you broke, folks? <laughs> You're going to stay that way until you get in God's system. Yes, sir. Are you barely making it? I'm barely making ends meet. God, show me in the Bible what God said. My children make ends meet. And then they can run around and say, well, my father owned a cattle of a thousand hills. Brag talking that. And don't have a hamburger or some hamburger meat from the cow. They got it wrong. They, people got the system. They got it wrong. They mixed up God's system with the world system. God tell you exactly. And makes it very clear. Give. is common right there. And that means not only finance, what you need up, but your time. Your good hand to somebody, yes. or you're opening the door for an old lady, yes. or, or you're doing something to somebody who cannot do nothing for this sale. I ain't talking about just throwing away stuff, just doing stuff. Yes. Run around and give it, just doing. You know, people lazy and bombs and they don't want to do nothing. They don't have no heart to do nothing. You get it? Yes. Now, try to under, if you don't have the wisdom, I can't, I can't make it. I can give you information, you get them, the revelation from God. That's all I can get, information. Can't throw you down and beat you to understanding in your head. <laughs> Give. That's of yourself. Time. Time to others. Time to God. Finances, love, give forgiveness, give kindness. You make your own life up. <laughs> I hope y'all hear me. And he's just trying to go no other way about it. Giving it shall be, it shall be, not my. Shall be given unto you, unto you, unto you, given unto you. This ain't no trick. All of this is heart, felt, and reason done because God deserve it. And God know what he's talking about. And you got to go in the rim, he goes there. Yes, they can do it, do this any other kind of way you want to. Given it shall be given unto you good measures. Good measures. 
press down. You go home today, get you a thing of cotton and a jar and just press as much cotton in it as you can. Press it. Well, it can't no air get in it. And it'll run over. It'll just pop out of there. There'll be so much in there. God is telling you the financial system that folk don't want. They want what God got, but they don't want him. People want what you got in the materialistic world, but they really don't want to be bothered with you. They have no time with you. They don't, have nothing. They don't want to be bothered. They just give me, and that's it. Bye. Till the next time. <laughs> I must hit somewhere. Truth hit somewhere. Press down and shaken together. And running over, shall God drop from heaven. I'm glad you're reading. I'm glad you're reading. That men, men, people, not angels, folks, people, will bless you. We'll give to you. You don't. And those that not in that realm, they become jealous and envious of you. Oh, yeah. Jealous and envious of you and resent you and think you're doing something wrong. So it's a plus go with that, and that is trial. <laughs> Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, running. Listen. Shaken together and running over shall. Men. Do you mean women too? Yes, sir. People, men, yes, people. Yes, sir. Will give unto your bosom mean your possession. Yes, sir. It was theirs, but now it's yours. Yes, sir. You didn't take it from them. Yes, sir. Why yes, was boy? Billion dollar worth of wisdom comes out of here, out of this book and out of this church. And for what same measure that you meet, whether it shall be measured, can't miss it, to you again. Just that. But take care of your finances. Why so many people ends meet stuff? Read it over and over again if you want to. Yes, there ain't nothing else you're going to get out of it but what he's saying. The art of giving is a great thing. Oh, yes, sir. The heart of giving is a great thing. It's a great thing. Believe that. Yeah. It's been proven. It's a fact. Some of you has been proven to you. You don't have to ask nobody. You say, that works. Yes, sir. God means what he say. No matter how stingy you want to be or how big a tight one you want to be. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> Psalms 41, starting with the first verse. All right, read. What does it say? Blessed. Blessed. Is he. Blessed. You got to know who, who, who calls you blessed. Blessed. Blessed is he that considereth the that poor. That consider. It didn't even say give. It said, you got it, Psalm 41? Yes, Psalms, four, Psalms 41, start with the first verse. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. I want to be blessed. Yes, sir. I can sit and put it in. I ain't got no problem with it. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got yes, sir. yes, sir. And these people ask for money for the poor, not for something else. I'm doing something else, but for the poor. Hungry. Yes, Kids hungry, starving. Listen to what it say. 
Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord. Who would, will? The Lord. Who will? The Lord. You're looking for somebody else to. The Lord. The Lord will deliver him. Deliver. Set you free. When? In time of in trouble. In time of trouble. I thought I said, well, am I running in some trouble? How do I know? You don't know what said it. God promised me this. I got to release what he said. The Lord will preserve him. He will preserve him. Yes, and him. Yes, sir. Body out. Oh, it was preserve him. Yes, sir. And keep him alive. And keep him alive. Yes, well, sir. folks think he ought to been dead. <laughs> he ought to have died. He ought to be, he was on the deathbed. <laughs> and he shall be blessed upon the earth. What about? Upon the In earth. In heaven later on. On upon the earth. earth. See, people don't take this for real. I'm, I'm, you say you're a fool or you take I'm a fool then. Because <laughs> I sure believe what this tell me. Yes, sir. I hope he God would deceive me. He can't lie. So hey, I can just walk into it and don't worry about it. If you do the same thing, you'll find a different in your life. Yes, sir. Amen. And not until. And not until. <laughs> God will preserve, won't he? Yes, sir. Huh? This is what and, he and he shall be blessed upon the earth. Upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him until the will of his enemies. See, a lot of your enemies, a lot of my enemies wish they had me under control. But they don't know which way I'm going or which way I'm coming out. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's say we're with you. If you're under, under God's jurisdiction and under his kingdom and in his kingdom and participate in his kingdom yes, and sir. give and, uh, to his yes, kingdom yes, and obey his instruction, yes, <laughs> no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Amen. Can't. You see the demise. Not that you want it, but it just happened. Them to use you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe some of you got some hard things that you're dealing with now. You listen to this word here, you can get to them. Yes, sir. That's the message for the day. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father.